In today's video, we are turning these jalapenos into what might be the world's best jalapeno popper. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host Farnham and today on Simple Seasoning, we are making some jalapeno poppers. I wanna dive more into appetizers here on the channel because it's stuff that everybody can make for any occasion. They're super easy and they're packed with flavor. I promise they're gonna be impressive. But hey, if you notice my voice sounds a little bit different today, it's because I just turned 28. No, it's actually because the allergies in Florida are awful right now. But we're gonna push through this episode and we are gonna make what might just be the best appetizer you have ever had. Before we jump into it, scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and drop a comment below and let me know what appetizer you wanna see on the next Simple Seasoning episode. Hey, before we talk about anything else, we need to hit that B-roll, so let's go. All right, so the ingredients for these jalapeno poppers are a large fresh jalapeno, shallot, garlic, lemon, applewood smoked bacon, mayo, Dijon mustard, cream cheese, medium cheddar cheese, chives, a jam of your choice, just not space jam, I'm using fig jam, brown sugar, mustard powder, chili powder, cayenne, onion powder, garlic powder, celery salt, and smoked paprika. All right, so before we jump into the prep work, the reason why we went back to the old camera angle for the ingredients is because a few of you, including Jacqueline, said that it's actually easier for you to visualize how difficult or intense the recipe is gonna be if you can see all the ingredients required at once. So moving forward, I will make sure we show all the ingredients prep work time. So the jalapenos, the big elephant in the room, is this going to be too spicy for you? The answer is only if you wanted to. When we cut these open, we can take all the spice out and it will honestly taste very similar to a bell pepper. It has the jalapeno characteristics underneath, but um, yeah, no, it, it's not spicy. Now, if you're skeptical, about the statement that I just made. I'm gonna prove it right here. I've got all the seeds, all the white out of here. I'm gonna prove that there's zero spices. Ready? Not one thing. All right, so to prep these out, all we're gonna do is we're gonna first wash them off and then we're going to slice it right down the middle and then we're just gonna take a spoon and we're gonna scoop out all of the white innards and the seeds and that's it. Next, we are gonna make a fire garlic aioli. We're gonna start with a quarter cup of mayo, half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Then we're gonna finally grate in a medium clove of garlic, a tablespoon of lemon juice, an eighth a teaspoon of cayenne, a pinch of salt, and about 15 cranks of black cracked pepper. Then we whisk. Now we hit a taste test. You're gonna wanna let this sit in the fridge to let that garlic kinda chill out a little bit because it is going bite. Here we go. Literally perfect. This is such a good sauce to dip anything in, but like I said, we gotta let that fresh garlic kinda mellow out just a little bit in the fridge. Now we're gonna make our barbecue seasoning. One tablespoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one teaspoon of celery salt, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of mustard powder, an eighth teaspoon of cayenne, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of some black cracked pepper, and we mix. All right, next we're gonna make our cream cheese filling for for our jalapeno poppers. And we're gonna start by cutting up a shallot. Cut the top off, then we're gonna peel that outer layer of skin off. Then we're gonna run some vertical cuts through it, some opposing cuts, and then we're gonna hit it with a fine chop, scoop it up into the bowl. All right, next we're gonna take about four or five chives. We're gonna cut them in half a couple times. Then we're just gonna finally slice down the length of it, scoop them up into the bowl. Now we're gonna add half a block of some Philadelphia cream cheese. Make sure it's room temperature, that way we can mix it up. All right, now I'm gonna shred in about a quarter cup up to a half a cup of medium cheddar, just depends how much cheddar you like. All right, and now we're gonna add about a teaspoon of our barbecue seasoning. This is just gonna add some nice, smoky, sweet flavor to it. Probably about a teaspoon and a half, but you get the point. And now we mix. All right, so once everything's mixed up, it should kind of resemble pimento cheese in a sense, and you can give it a little taste test if you want. 
That barbecue seasoning just takes it to the next level. Yeah, all right, this part's done. All right, now all we have to do is cook our bacon on a cold pan. We're gonna throw it on a medium high heat, put our bacon strips in there, and we are gonna let them cook on the first side for about two to three minutes. Then we're gonna flip. We wanna see some nice browning action going on. We'll give that another two minutes, and then we're just gonna keep this going until all of the fat is fully rendered and these look nice and crispy. We're gonna pull them out of the grease and onto a paper towel lined plate. All right, once your bacon comes out nice and crispy like this, all we're gonna do is cut it up into little squares. Then we're gonna scoop them up, put them into a bowl, and then eventually we will mix them with some fig jam. All right, so here we are. We've got our peppers lined up on a little baking sheet with a baking rack. I'm actually gonna throw these in my toaster oven that I've got set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that thing heats up way quicker than a regular oven. So all we're gonna do is fill these up with our cheese schmear and yeah, we can pop them in. All right, so I've got a little glob here and then I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna fill the inside of that pepper out just like that. And of course, if you want these to be extra cheesy, don't be afraid to go in with a little bit extra of that cheese smear. All right, so we've got our peppers all filled with our cream smear. I don't even, is it smear or smear? I, I, I don't know, whatever, our cream cheese filling. And uh, we're just gonna pop this 400 degrees, like I said, for seven minutes and then we're done. We're gonna pull them out, hit the B-roll, just so you know what we're gonna do in the B-roll. We're gonna mix our fig jam with our bacon at the last second. That way, the bacon stays nice and crunchy. We're gonna cover that on the top. Then we're gonna hit it with a drizzle of our sauce that we made, our garlic aioli, and then finish it with some chives, and they're going to be absolutely amazing. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, you hear the suspenseful music so you know it is time for the taste test. Let me just address this. Most people wrap their jalapenos in bacon and there's a reason why I don't. And that's because in theory, in order for that bacon to get crispy in the oven, it's gonna have to stay in there 20 to 25 minutes and our jalapeno is gonna get soft and mushy. We want a nice crunch from it. We want some bite to it. So without any further ado, let's get into it. The world's best jalapeno popper in three, two, one. Unreal, unreal. The bite from the pepper, the barbecue seasoning and that cheese, that soft cream cheese, that crunchy bacon with the sweet fig jam and a little bit of bite and zest from that garlic sauce on top. Are you kidding me? This is top tier. It's probably the best appetizer you'll ever make, you'll ever have and uh, it's incredibly easy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not kidding. This might be the world's best jalapeno popper. It's got everything you need. It's got that bite in the jalapeno, that savory cream cheese, that softness. Then we got that crispy bacon on top, salty but mixed with the fig jam to add that sweet and a little bit of brightness and zest from that garlic aioli on top. I'm not kidding, five star appetizer. I'm urging you, if you're an appetizer person or you just wanna make a semi-healthy snack, go ahead and make this. This thing is incredible. It's got great bite to it and I have to say, I don't think it's been done better. So tweak it if you want, change whatever you need, switch the bacon out for turkey bacon. Doesn't matter to me, just send me pictures and let me know if you like it. Hey, I appreciate you watching. If you made it this far, scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let me know below if you are gonna try to make these jalapeno poppers. I appreciate y'all. This is Simple Seasoning here on more seasoning. My name is Farnham and we are out. Until next time, peace. Bye.